Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really pretty cracker style gift box. I have made other ones on the channel before. I actually have one that's a jumbo. It's huge and it will fit a jumper or like a larger piece of clothing in. I'll link that one up here along with the playlist because there's other crackers. So if you want crackers for the dinner table, I have three or four styles. And then these are more for gifts to go under the tree, I guess. So this one here, what you would do is, I'll open this side actually so you can see. I'm not going to open that end, but it opens up and then you can pop your gift inside. I always wrap mine in some tissue. I mean, it's not going to fall out because once you put, you know, the sides together, the triangle there is much smaller than this triangle. So, you you know, your gift will be much larger inside there. But these are really easy to make. Some people make them using the envelope punch board, which will do all the notches for you. But I'm going to cut all this by hand, so you don't need any fancy equipment. You actually you could get away with not even using the scoreboard, you could score it with your ruler, but I'm going to be using the, the scoreboard today and some scissors, so let me show you how. So today's one I'm actually going to make slightly bigger in terms of this space here. So this is three and a half I think, I'm going to make the next one four because the gift, I've got a gift for this one already which is fine, but the other gift is just a little bit bigger. So I'll give you the score lines for this one, it's like I said it's only an inch difference but it's going to work better for me. So. This is the papers that I'm using and the, the collection has all of these um, in, you know, accessories to go with it and it's the Dovecraft Winter Sparkle. It's gorgeous, look at it, literally is sparkly so I'm going to be using that for quite a few other things as well. Okay so this is a piece of 12 by 12 and if it's directional make sure it's facing the right way out for these score lines that I'm about to give you. So I'm going to do this one at, you're going to score it 2, 3, 4 and then 8, 9, 10 and that will give you a four inch middle section here if you want to do that one where it's slightly shorter you want to score at two and a half and then three and a half and four and a half and then you will do seven and a half eight and a half and nine and a half and that would then give you a three and a half middle section I don't think too many of you are going to be you know mind too much I would probably do bigger all it's going to do now is give us these side, this side piece here is going to be two inches rather than two and a half, which is what this one is. Okay, so that's the score lines there. Then pop it on the side, and you want to score at three and three quarters, seven and a half, and eleven and a quarter. Okay, so I know the um, pattern paper is obviously, you know, it's got a lot going on there, but hopefully. Once you now fold and burnish your score lines, you'll be able to make out what we're going to be doing. Okay, what you want to do now is where you've got, I'm going to flip it over because it's much, much easier. Where you've got that tab here, you'll have this rectangle and then you'll have these two and then you'll have a long one and then you'll have two and then you'll have another one. The ones where there's two together, you want to remove that completely. So I'm just going to cut that away. I'm using a paper because it, it does kind of strengthen once you put it into its 3D shape. But if you're using plain paper, you could, once you add some mats and layers, that would also add strength. But this is going under the tree and it's all going to get ripped open, so I'm not too worried. But now, if I just flip it over, that's what you want. So you'll have these pieces and that one. So all you've got rid of is those kind of squares that were there. Then what you want to do is where you've got, if I do it this way, so have those facing towards you, you'll have this section here. Ignore that score line there. I scored that wrong at the very beginning. Just ignore that. So you'll have your two inch score line here. This one's your two, there's your three, there's your four. Fold the three so it's a mountain. And what you want is to have the two here, this is the three, and then you've got the four inch score line there on the back. And have it folded like this, okay? But make sure you have one of these score lines here. And what you want to do is take quite a chunk off up to the corner there. And then here I'm going to come in quite a chunk up to that corner here. And again, you take quite a bit, and then this one, and then again here, 
you can take even more if you want. Basically, there's no reason why you can't come right in as long as you've got a little bit attached on each of these sections. But, I mean, I will, I'll just come in even more. I don't, don't be afraid to really hack into this bit because it's all what gets covered with the ribbon. Um, the more you take off, I guess, the easier it is to fold. You can see that I've really kind of gone into it like so and what's going to happen now you can see is when we bring it all around this is our tab which is going to stick it all together you can see now straight away you get your cracker shape and that's what you're going to tie up with the ribbon and we'll obviously stick these pieces all down because these are the tabs so again at this end all right fold so you've got the th so there's the two the three and the four you want the three to be a mountain fold that three inch score line so you've got the two inch score line here the three inches folded and then the four again have it facing you it doesn't matter if this tabs on that side or it's on that side it really doesn't matter but either way you just then again I'm going to really come in don't worry if they're not exact again it's not really going to matter and again I'm going to come all the way up and then all the way up to this one if you're using a cardstock then you'd be able to put something much heavier in this what I'm putting in is lightweight so the paper's fine but you can definitely do this with a cardstock. So, I mean, if you want to use like a 300 GSM and you want to maybe put like some miniature bottles or something, you could do that. Okay, so now we've got this. I'll do it that way, you can get it all in shot. There we go. So you can start to see that that's cracker shape. All right. Now, you want to add glue onto all of these tabs. So, I'm just going to use the Kalau glue here so and then this one here you just want to bring it up into a triangular shape so I'm just going to get that middle one stuck down just line up the score line so they all meet up these are easy to line up because they're the same width and again this one here you can't lie this flat obviously because it's three sides if it was a four-sided one which you can do and again I've got those on the channel and you can just lie it flat and put it into place but this is fine now you'll see there like where that's joined can you see this one's kind of slightly come that's where I've obviously cut into one more than the other but you can just go in there and just trim it if you want to tidy it up so if you do see any like that I mean that's the only one actually all the rest are okay but I'm just going to give that a minute just to dry before I start putting the ribbon on and kind of putting a bit of tension on it Okay, so I'm going to keep the join on the bottom. You can see I've got all my images facing the right way up there because of how you would have had that paper to start with. Make sure those all fold in. There we go. And you can see now you've got your cracker. Then um, before I add the ribbon, I'm just going to stick this on. So what I've done here is these are some of the matching embellishments that you get. So I've just used some of this. This is the Dovecraft Rose Gold glitter card gorgeous glitter card and then I've just used my oval dies and I've cut one of the matching papers with the smaller oval there and then these are these little stickers from this one here this is the eight sentiment toppers so I've used the Merry Christmas heart on that one and I've just put foam adhesive on and I've just popped some foam on the back of that one and this is going to go back and put my hand in there because I've got enough room and I just want to get it nice and centered in that middle section there okay looks really nice already and then the tags I've just used here you get 12 printed tags and I've used the stag head which is here and these are just wooden shapes I've just used my hot glue to stick that one down so I'll do that one first so what you do now is you could tie one end and pop your gift in okay like I said wrap it in tissue or if it is big enough to stay in there then you know you don't have to but if you wrap it with a bit of tissue then no one can like peep in the sides and see with the gift that's in there so I'm just going to tie a knot with that on there and then th feed through the gift tag here so this is all ready for me to be able to write on and then I'm just going to tie a bow on this end and then like I said pop your gift in and tie this end like so this organza ribbon I've had for a long time it just so happens to kind of match a lot of things I did use it a lot actually with the happy you collection which was by Dovecraft which was very similar colors to this one okay so there is the finished cracker it takes no time at all I'm going to tidy up the ends of the ribbon there 
but look at that but you can see now the difference in size so can you see if I hold it up there so this has got now a four inch kind of section plus you have one inch each side you know there is still that kind of length there as well so if you've got something a bit longer like I said a miniature bottle would probably fit quite nice but you can see that one there is the three and a half so I'll pop both measurements in my blog um, but yeah I think they look really nice and they're perfect for obviously the gifts now that I've got to go in them so those are going to go under my tree <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed it I'll link everything as always below and I'll be back again soon with another tutorial bye